I'm Michael and I'm a photographer. People think they can just turn up anywhere with a camera. Yeah, just take a snap. But it takes a lot more preparation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get to it. Michael Robinson is a widely acclaimed international photographer and five times winner of the Magnum Photographer of the Year Award and the only winner of the Hottest New Photographer and Lifetime Achievement Award for Time Magazine in the same year. Why do you think uh, you've received such acclaim in previous years? Um, I just think, you know, I recognise when I see something good. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, I, I've got an eye for this thing. And, uh, and the camera just works for me. It, just, it does all the work in. Now, some people would say that you're not really a photographer, you just wave the camera around, when press the button. When I this introduction, How would you feel I about said, it? I'm Mike Robinson, I'm a photographer. Why would they not think I'm a photographer mm. if I've introduced myself that way? Michael, um, if I could just grab you for two seconds. Um, first of all, congratulations on landing the uh, Miriam and Josh wedding uh, contract as the hottest, most talked about wedding uh, in the, of the year. Um, can you tell us a bit about how you feel about securing this project? Oh, well... Um, <laughs> Obviously, it's, um, it was going to happen, really. Um, mm. You know, I, I put my bid in um, during the tender process, um, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I submitted some of my best work. Um, I mean, may I show you? Perhaps? Yeah, sure. Um, but, I mean, that in particular. Um, that as well. Hmm. I mean, you know, the pictures that I was trying to send in, you know, were were really. I was trying to say, you know, how I, how can I cause emotions? And when you look at that tree shot, you mm. become dizzy. You know, dizzy. Yeah. So dizziness was the emotion that, that you were going for. That's right. And I think you know, as soon as Josh and Miriam saw that, and you know, combined with my reputation, um, <laughs> it was just going to happen, really. Mm. My philosophy is that nature and art is all around you, and uh, art is, is it, it won't wait to be captured. Mm. It just needs to be captured. Mm. You know, it's there, and uh, <laughs> it's ready. And you know, it doesn't wait for a photographer, you know, to come along, um, for, for it to, to, you know, to fall into position. Mm. You just you gotta be ready. The camera just knows. <laughs> yeah. So, Michael, uh, how do you feel about working with these uh, clients of yours, Josh and Miriam? Well, um, Miriam's got a great, you know, uh, hand. Mm, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, we'll get some really good finger, you know, yeah. shots with that, with the ring on. Um, Josh, uh, you know, it looks really hot right now with that moustache mm. um, that he's got. Um... I could use that slightly edgy, uh, but more, I'm more interested in, you know, the surroundings, what's going on, you know, around them. Um, you know, the grass that they're standing on, mm. uh, the mud on their shoes, <laughs> that type of thing. I think those are the things that, you know, really make a wedding, mm. you, know, uh, you know, shoot, stand out. This is the script of this man. Sometimes right. I really, you know. Mm. Tell us a I'm, bit about I'm your sorry, camera, Mike. That minute, what are you working with? Here? Well, this is a Canon. <laughs> what does that do there? That stabilizes it. So if what I want to hold it, 
What's that? If I didn't want to hold it, yeah. you would stabilise it. <laughs> or it just sort of float in the air. Yeah, but I'm not going to show you that. Right. Um, What's that bit do there? That is irrelevant. I mean, but I want to talk about my work, <laughs> um, what I do for the profession. Yeah. So, Mike, uh, a lot of your fans are very excited about this uh, forthcoming project that you have. And... Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about the specific vision that you'll be uh, realising at this uh, event. Um, would you be able to give us a glimpse, perhaps, into the kind of work that you'll be uh, producing this this time around? Yeah, I mean, um, what I prepared for the bride and groom is something. Mm. What I would say, um, you know, I, I would say mediocre, but others would say sensational. Um, you know it, re it really will be the shoot of the I mean we will be we, I've already you know got bids from um, hello mm. goodbye um, lifestyle magazine um, Chipping Sodbury's local news gazette just to name a few um, and uh, you know what I've told them is mm. what I'll tell you. Picture spectacular. Mm. Add in a few butterflies, rainbows, and the cats. mud and the mud on their shoes as well. Yeah, the mud on the shoes. Everything. Josh, I hope you've enjoyed our little video. Um, unfortunately, I can't attend um, your wedding to be your wedding photographer. Um, but as you've probably already seen, that's probably a good thing. Um, so, uh, just wish you and Miriam all the best. I'm really excited for you guys. Um, uh, excited for your new life together. And what's more, excited that you guys are able to come over. And uh, as Mum and Dad just kind of said, enjoy your honeymoon with those guys and uh, I know we're going to have a lot of fun. So congratulations and um, good luck. Hi Josh and Miriam, uh, congratulations on getting married. Um, I'm sad I'm not there to be able to uh, uh, put my finger in your ear and say it. Um, Josh, not necessarily Miriam, uh, I don't think we're quite at that stage yet. Um, but uh, I know you'll make a great couple, you're both um, uh, happy and fun and uh, loyal um, and I think that's a great foundation to build your uh, life on um, uh, yeah I'm genuinely impressed with your courage and your commitment um, to be uh, to uh, to a vision of your life together um, and uh, I know that you both um, will be true to that and uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, all the fun that we're going to have together in future, um, particularly this Christmas. Um, I love you, Josh, and um, looking forward to uh, getting to know you, Miriam, and uh, having a uh, new sister in the family. Um, have an awesome day and looking forward to seeing you when you come over soon. Take care. Bye. Michael, could I just grab you for one moment just to ask you a quick question? Um, uh, was there a particular moment where you just knew that you uh, were a photographer? I think it was the time when I was at home and it was uh, a cold, cold day. And... I, you know, my father had left his camera lying around. Mm. And I noticed on the floor that the dirt in the carpet was um, very swirly. And I wanted to capture that swirliness and, you know, really express that intimate detail that is in, in every one of our houses you know, mm. across, across the country. 
and express something that people have never seen before, or really, you know, try to observe. You know, <laughs> you just look outside. It's your average shot. When have you not seen that in a magazine? When have you not seen that on a postcard? We're bored. So your goal is really to extend people's vision or perception, you know, help them to see things that haven't been seen before. Exactly. So help them to see the nitty gritty. What kinds of things then? If you could give me a list, maybe, of some of the things that you think people are missing in this world that you try to capture. What does dust look like? Describe dust to me. You can't, can you? Mm. That's what I do. So Mike, sorry to interrupt your work, um, maybe you could, uh, for the sake of the uh, people at home, talk, talk us through the process that you go through to create your work. Well, I mean, as you can see, it's, um, what I would say, I would, someone described as unorthodox, mm. but I would say, you know, vital, crucial, really. Um, first thing, you've got to imagine the scene in your head and then create it like mm. I've just done then and uh, you know you've got to get the close-ups you've got to show people what they can't see with their own eyes mm. um, so once you've got that vision in your mind so can I ask how you know, close you is then, you know start just start shooting mm. and how close is too close Nothing's too close. Right. Nothing's too close. Mm. Um, do you have a particular um, memory of the first photograph you took where, um, you know, uh, you sort of consolidated your process, so to speak? Yes. I mean, like I've already talked about the dust. Um, it was... Uh, I was walking down the street and... Um, some of my fans would like to know this. You know, I got the camera and I just started doing this. Let the camera do the work. Mm. See, some people would say that you just sort of wave it around and press the button. What would you say to that? Mm. That's what I would say to that. <laughs> Nice. So, um, uh, a lot of people admire your sense of fashion, and uh, it's created quite a stir. Um, could you talk us through the particular fashion choices that you know make you such an iconic photographer? Well, firstly, a lot of fur mm. and a lot of warmth. Yeah, I mean, why are you wearing glasses, for example? Uh, it's raining and it's inside. So a lot of people would question that, but what's I your... I don't want to be recognised by my fans. Mm. Um. Right. Michael, thanks so much for your time today. What do you think is essentially makes you a winning photographer? Well, I would say that... Um, I would say that it's basically about grit and determination, really. Um, I mean, I think... Too many people uh, think they can just you know, sit in a cosy armchair and they're going to go and get a National Geographic award winning picture. Mm. It's never happened that way. It never will happen that way. It's about being willing to get your hands dirty, expose yourself to um, you know, situations that you're not comfortable with, um, and get, yeah, getting your hands dirty, getting gritty. It's about determination, mm. being willing and ready to capture that shot. Nice, thank you so much. So I think we're ready to go outside then. In that.